Welcome to this tutorial on dose response data, its import and analysis here in CDD Vault. We start by clicking in the Protocols tab, followed by Create a new protocol. Now we fill out the basic information for the protocol definition containing a name, the category, and the description. Description itself can contain any type of text, but even hyperlinks. Hyperlinks could, for example, link to an internal SOP or other assay description that you might have stored. Finally, uh, we have to assign this protocol to a project, in our case, the screening ABC. And finally, we click on Create Protocol, which will finalize this portion and lead us to the next section of the protocol details. Here we can edit readout definitions. In this case, we do a dose response calculation. If you want the vault to calculate the data for you. As you can see by the description, the vault uses the levenberg marquardt algorithm to calculate your dose response data. Next, we continue filling out the form by adding the appropriate data type contained in your raw data file, X, Y, and appropriate unit. The vault can normalize the data for you with each run or with each plate, or you can skip the normalization completely. In this case, we normalize and choose as type inhibition or activation, and choose an appropriate name, in this case, inhibition. You can choose to constrain hill slope, minimum, maximum values. In this case, we will not constrain them and leave it as is. Of course, you can also change the inactive range, which at this point has a typical standard of three times SD. And finally, of course, what type of data calculations do you want the vault to do for you? In this case, we are measuring an EC50. We can choose the significant uh, figures if we like. You will find more and in-depth information when you follow this link, learn more regarding quality control. So finally, we do add calculation. And this will give us our first type of the readout, the EC50. In our specific case, we want to add another readout definition so we can attach files to our project. Therefore, we choose a data type file we have the optional description, and then finally click on the Add Readout Definition. Next up are Hit Condition Definitions. Should click on Done Editing for above. Then we fill out the conditions. Add, simple as that, and we have a list of choices that we can use. They're predefined, but it's not limited to that. You can add your own. We choose a color, a limit, save changes. The final step will be to edit the plate layout. In this case, a 384 well plate. CDD Vault makes it very simple to edit this. First, we click obviously on edit layout. And then by clicking either on single wells, you can click through positive, negative control, or reference molecule. You can also choose whole columns and whole co rows at once by clicking on the appropriate letter or number. In our case, we will be defining one row of positive control, one row of negative control, a reference molecule row, and again here on the opposite side, positive, negative control. When you're done, you click Save Changes and you're good to go. Now that we have this portion done, we can finally go to import data. Before we go into the details though, let's have a quick look at the files in the file format in this case. We have several pictures we want to attach. These pictures will be named as file name in the import file. Also in, of importance to note is that our controls do not have a molecule or batch number. They are empty columns. And as you can see up here, we have the image name 
as a separate column in our CSV file. All this together we will pack into a zip file and this zip file is the one that we import. Choose the project obviously, upload file. After uploading the data we can do our readout definitions, add readouts and then we assign our columns as we have done in previous cases. In this case I will be doing a fast forward by means of video editing. Once we've done this we can save this as a template if we like and then process the file. This type of processing won't take very long but if we don't want to wait at all we can always use the email update function. As you can see everything is already imported we have two new plates, so it's just to accept the data. And finally, the data is uploaded to your vault and ready to be analyzed in whichever fashion or means you like best. At this stage, you have the option to view your data by, for example, the scatterplot function, which opens up in a separate window. In this window, you have several ways of displaying your data and the vault will analyze on the fly any type of Z primes, standard deviations, etc. for you. More in-depth details will be reviewed in a separate video tutorial. If you prefer looking at the heat maps of your imported plate data, you can do this as well. And the vault will calculate on the fly the data for you. You can either choose raw data, the inhibition data, etc. depending on your protocol definitions. And last but not least we can have a look at our imported data via the explore data function which leads us to an overview of our table as you can see here. Here we can see the images that are attached to the data and also next to it we can see the dose response curve as calculated by CDD Vault. CDD Vault also allows you to edit your dose response data on the fly. You simply click on a picture, you look at your data, you might select a point that you don't like. Here you can view the raw data as such. Then you simply click on the outlier that you want to remove. Now we simply click Save Changes and the VOD will automatically recalculate any changes you've made to reflect those. Now we close this window and below over here you will see the changes. You see the tiny X over the dot that we removed and you will see how the number here is now depicted in italics and underlined compared to above here where we have not changed anything it's the original calculations and the text is in regular font. This data including its images may be exported to an Excel file. The images that are exported to the X file are in high resolution quality and do adapt to any changes that you make in the columns. Thank you for watching this video. For more in-depth information, please go to our knowledge base regarding this topic or any other related ones.